Hello, 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 and welcome to this video about your Wi Fi band and how to change it from 2.4 gigahertz into 5.0 gigahertz. Before I get into the meat and potatoes of this video, I want to explain to you the advantages and disadvantages of having 5.0 gigahertz as your default setting for your Wi-Fi. The main advantages of having 5G said is there's less or no interference from other networks and it's a less crowded place to be in. The main disadvantages of having 5G said is not all business networks support that and also you cannot reach out to the same level of people which you can in having 2.4 GHZ. The next thing you'd want to do is go to your box uh, provided by your uh, internet service provider, uh, Top Top, Virgin Media, Sky, whatever. Uh, go to the, the area that says the, the HTTP address and type that into your browser. Usually it's like HTTP dash hyphen hyphen 192.168.1 dash dot one I don't know why it's not a secured address but that should take you to the the area which covers uh, your password and your eight digit numerical pin Okay, from the screenshot you'll see both the 2.4 and the 5.0 GHz enabled. If they're not then you should make sure both of them are checked or else you won't be able to go to the next stage. Okay, the next piece of the jigsaw is to go back to your computer and locate your control panel. From there select network and internet and then network and sharing centre and then click connections. A little box will appear entitled Wi-Fi status and from there select properties in the bottom of the page. From there you'll hope to see AC or dual band, meaning you can use either 2.4 or 5.0 gigahertz. If you don't see that then usually it means that the only default you can use is 2.4 gigahertz. The next thing you want to do is press configure followed by advanced and you'll get a selection of items on the drop down menu from there you will want to select preferred band and that will fire up what's available to you In the next screenshot I have left a checklist of what to do from A to Z so if you're running any problems just go through this short checklist and see if you're doing it right from the start of when you check your internet box through to the control panel and seeing whether you can use either or of the dual band facility on your Wi-Fi. Thanks for watching my video which I hope you found informative. Getting away from the subject slightly and into the world of online marketing, I have some useful information which you can find in the link directly below the, this video in the description area. Bye for now.